Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Ron Berman. We're here in the Old City in Jerusalem, and we're going to meet Jeff Seidel. If you are in Israel and looking for a meal, there's only one person to go to, and that's Jeff. Let's take a closer look. When you're in Israel, uh, especially after a Tagli Birth or Israel trip, or really any organized program, sure. sometimes there are a lot of young people just roaming around Israel. Right. And uh, you've been in the business in connecting uh, young Jews to their heritage, um, kind of to, to some food and right. a good time. So tell us a little bit of how you got started and what's going on now. Well, I got started really before any birthrights or any really programs going on, which is being here in Israel, in Yushalayim, and many of these different students, the universities and walking around, they need a place for Shabbos. To be in Jerusalem and have no one help you out for Shabbat, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's funny. So that's how we started it. Started, it started out, you know, a little bit, a little bit, and now it's, you know, beyond our means, thank God, where kids get Shabbos meals here, throughout Yerushalayim, throughout Israel, and even if they go traveling to Europe, if somebody wants a Shabbat meal, you know, even in New York, Chicago, Toronto, Australia, we help them out in that way also. And now with the birthright kids, uh, a lot of them different come in, they get free prayer books by us, uh, Chomashim, Bibles if they want, Hebrew, English, Art Scroll books, and some stay afterwards, like in the hostel we have, some will come back on my scholarship to Israel program, um, they might stay here, we help them out. They might be at Hebrew University afterwards. We have a center up at Hebrew U, Tel Aviv and Gurion. That's our job. So, you know, when I was here at Barline University, um, I didn't have a place to eat on Friday night, and they said, just look for a guy with white sneakers at the hotel. And then I found you, and you hooked me up tall, with... The tall guy. The tall guy, right, tall guy. right, 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 exactly. Right. And, you, and you hooked me up with a meal at uh, Rab Machlas, and that, that, sure. was, that was my first uh, Shabbat experience in Jerusalem, it was like, random people from all around the world. Um, how, do you pick, how do you get people to like host Shabbats uh, in, uh, you know, around Jerusalem? Right. Well, we, you know, we sit here during the week, we have our list, our regulars, and we call them. This week, for example, coming up, I have a whole group of Australians coming. Um, I have a group of university students coming in special from Tel Aviv University, besides my regular tourists and travelers. And we'll sit on the phones beginning of last Sunday morning, making phone calls already for different groups coming in, and we place them. And we try to match up the young person to the family, because the family also wants to have a good shop. It's the young boy, young girl, and the family. And you know, we wanted the experience to be a memorable experience for both sides. And we spend all the time, I and mean, I'm always on the prowl, looking for more and more Shabbos families. And you have an interesting way to engage. Like you, you, you hit the bars, you look oh, for, yeah. you, you, you're out there. Like typical engagement is waiting for people to come to you, but you actually go to them. Yeah, um, on so Wednesday nights, Thursday nights, my night time starts around 11.30, my work time, 11.30 to 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Hitting the bars, inviting anybody who needs a place for Shabbat. And, and some kids even say to me, you know, Jeff, I have a place, but thank you for caring. Thank you for coming, stopping, saying hello to me. And your, your programs range from social events to learning events. Um, what has been your most successful program? Um, well, that's a hard question because, you know, we go to Poland with the young people. Uh, we've been giving out this past two years with the Asher David Milstein Foundation um, prayer books, art school prayer books, which is now becoming uh, extremely popular and successful. A uh, Chumash, a Bible. I have kids with very little background walking up to me. Even six months later, come back to Israel. The girl opens up her purse, shows me her, her, her woman's art school prayer book. And she's not religious even. Just, I, but Jeff, I pray every day because of this book you gave me. And I can read it. I can understand it. So it really... I don't know, or maybe the Shabbat program is very successful. I can't, it's just so many, it's hard to tag it. What, what's your hope for, you know, when a, when a young Jewish individual comes to you, what's your hope for them uh, once they meet you and, and, are, and start getting engaged? Oh, that's a hard, that's a really hard <laughs> question. Because I try to deal with everybody as an individual. So everybody is different. There might be one person that he buys a pair of tefillin. There might be another person that he keeps Shabbat and becomes more involved in more learning Judaism. Another person might be that he just is so away from Judaism that he marries a Jewish girl. So everybody, it, it varies every single person. So I really can't tell you. I, I really can't tell you. But we hope that we give everybody a huge positive, positive experience that they'll be able to pass it on to other people and they themselves will be a leader and an example to the rest of the Jewish world. And where can people learn more about, you know, what you do? Uh, you look at, you can... Call me anytime. I have an American number, 815-349-4018. Or you can go on my, I have two websites, I have three websites, getshabbat.com 
obviously jeffseidel.com or Scholarships Israel. And we, we hope, I hope I'm overloaded with scholarship requests. I really do. Because I want to give young people the chance to come back to Israel to study about Judaism. How have you seen Birthright uh, transform uh, Israel and the whole Israel experience? Well, it has taken many, many kids, and there are people who are against it. Because let's say it's not religious, it has very little religious, religious content. But I'm not talking about that at all, okay? It has taken kids, young people, who are probably dating you know, non-Jewish people, or who are involved with them, has taken them who never, ever, ever would come to Israel, and all of a sudden they're having an exciting time, and they'll come, then they come back to Israel. They'll come back to Israel, not religious, let's say. Some do, but they'll come back, let's say, and work in Tel Aviv, at an internship, a stage, you know, working in, in the, the Jewish agency. And then they'll meet a Jewish boy, a Jewish girl. For them, that's tremendous, because they never would have done that, okay? Birthright has now waken up you know, the ghost of the Jewish people, people who are quiet, not have no affiliation at all. If you'd say to a young boy, young girl, oh, you're from uh, this college or that university, do you know the Chabad rabbi on campus? He'll say to you, what's that? I don't know, I have no idea. But now it's taking the young boy and giving him an awareness of Israel and Jewish people. As you see, Jeff Seidel provides young Jews the opportunity to dive into the Judaism and also get a nice hot meal. This is Aaron Herman, and thanks for watching.